Good morning, Pisces. Tap in. Drop your sun, moon, rising down below. Drop the sun, moon, rising of the person that you are dealing with. Please don't forget to let me know what resonates for you down in the comment section. Only take what resonates. These are general messages. Leave what does not. You can reach out to me for a personal reading. Cancers, let me know where you're watching from. I love to see the flags so I can research those things. If I don't know where that country is, I will look it up. Um, into these what we need to know messages for Pisces. Our fish friends of the Zodiac. What are they going through? What are the answers that they need right now? If you're a Pisces cross watcher, tap in. We want to know who's here. All right, Pisces folks. We have the Queen of Swords, Aquarius, showing up here. Ooh. Being very logical. The Nine of Cups. Ooh. Somebody being emotional. Or selfish. The Ten of Coins in reverse. A lack of abundance. Or maybe a not closing out a cycle with someone. Could be a card of um, closing out a chapter single. The Temperance. Bringing balance back to a situation. Mm, the Seven of Swords. Which is ghosting. Okay, Pisces. Libra showing up here with the Justice card. And the Nine of Swords stress. Ooh. Somebody going to court? Somebody stressed about a court situation? And that's why they're leaving? All right, Pisces. With this Queen of Swords, Nine of Cups energy, Aquarius, this is setting an ultimatum. Setting some boundaries. Letting some, being clear in what it is that you need. Clear communication. Asking somebody for the truth. This could be cutting somebody off, cutting somebody out. This Nine of Cups, Ursula letting us know that maybe this person is cold and only self-serving. That could be exactly what this is. And with this Temperance and the Seven of Swords, if it's not their way, maybe it's the highway. Okay, that's a card of ghosting and bringing balance back to a situation. And maybe this person feels imbalanced when they're confronted. Oh. Let's give us a card for this Queen of Swords, the Page of Coins. As above, so below. This per There's an imbalance here. Things are not quite as they seem. And this person that's giving this ultimatum, this has to do with other people being involved. Now, this could be a third-party situation where it is cheating. Somebody taking another or other lovers behind your back. But this, I feel like, is somebody, excuse me, hanging around a bunch of yes men. This Nine of Cups can be selfish energy when I see it in reverse. It's in the upright. But we also have to look at the cards next to it. I don't know why I'm getting the hiccups. Excuse me. This is somebody who doesn't care about anybody else's feelings. With, with this stepmom from Cinderella. Aquarius, Queen of Swords energy. It's all about them. And not only that, they have a system of people around them that allow them to act this way. That's what this is, Pisces. And with this Gemini energy showing up here with the true love underneath this Nine of Cups, Gemini, the lovers. This speaking to third-party situations. This person always having the upper hand here, always pulling the strings here in the background. Again, self-serving, selfish energy. If it's not about them, then F you. This is them not only having their cake and eating it too, but then they dare you to talk about it because they've already smeared you to other people. They have already have other people speaking negatively about you. We have Aquarius energy showing up here with the star in reverse, which is alignment, which is wish fulfillment here, being the fairest of them all. That, that's what this person thinks. They're too good. That you deserve to be, that they can have all these people committed to them. See this Three of Pentacles here, even though that's not the Three of Pentacles card, it's the page of um, coins here. Things are always working out in their favor. That's how they do it. That's how they play their game. It's not a fair game. It's all about them. This Ten of Coins, this is you losing in this game with them, but this is a win. You're stressed about losing this person for some of you Pisces folks. This person may be trash. That, that That's what I'm getting. It's all about that. You're pouring into this person. You're sad boots crying because this person ghosted you. 
left you, playing you, lying to you, not following through with their commitments here because they think they're too good to be held accountable. And really, you could be the Ten of Coins here, Pisces, but you're not feeling like that. We have the lovers and the devil right next to each other, Gemini and Capricorn. The devil and the lovers are connected. Oh, yes, my babies, you might be in with a narcissist. And I don't even like to use that word on my channel. I used it a couple times in the beginning. I was like, mm, I don't like to use that terminology. People get really caught up in that. But that's this is exactly what this is. Selfish. And when you come and confront them, it's a silent treatment, baby. You might be sending them text messages, emails. They may be giving you only one word answers. They like playing these little games here. Mind games. The trickery. Knight of Wands. This is somebody who quickly changes directions. Player energy. Bippity boppity boo. They're out here bopping and thotting all over the place. Okay? That's what this is. And how dare you confront them about that? They're allowed to be crazy. And with this nine of coins Virgo energy underneath this devil. Okay? It's all about them. This is them with this knight of wands right next to it. Acting single. This is the robe from the um, Robin Hood. The king, the king from Robin Hood. Oh, they're putting on their best stuff to go out and act single when they're really supposed to be with you. You're supposed to be committed and tied to them. And if not, that's this 10 of coins in reverse. They're just not talking to you anymore. A breakup here with the four of wands in reverse. That's the marriage card. Oh, so if you don't want to play by their sick little games, I'm done with you. They have no use for you. The death card, Scorpio in reverse. We're in Scorpio season. This is one door closing so that new doors can open for you. This breakup is a blessing, period. This looks stressful. And with this eight of cups, this is leaving a situation, an emotional situation. All these cups are open and empty. If this is a cup right here and I hold it upside down, everything's going to fall out. Luckily, it's a candle, so I have to light it. But this, there's nothing here. It's all about them. This nine of cups is for them. You fill their needs and your fulfillment comes from you fulfilling their needs. That, that's what they want. That's what they want. And with this queen of cups, <laughs> Scorpio energy here again, you poor unfortunate souls that got caught up in this. But this queen of cups has hope and faith, making the best out of a bad situation here. Okay? And this is you... <laughs> again, this is speaking to this person pouring into themselves here and having, you know, other intentions with your emotions and your feelings and your time. But this is you turning this around. And with this temperance energy, big Sagittarius, this is your patience running out for this and you wanting to bring balance back to your situation here. After this ghosting, after this person decides, you may use this opportunity that this person pulls away to leave permanently. This could be you ghosting them when they come back around. Oh yeah, this is the plot twist here. With this five of coins, Taurus energy in reverse, this is the rug being pulled off from underneath somebody. Oh yeah. They're going to come back around trying to text you and they're not going to get anything. They're not going to get anything from you. They, You might be sending them the one word answer or the, oh, this wrong number. The 10 of cup happiness. Yeah. You pulling away from this and restoring yourself, bringing balance back into your own situation here. Here you are as this queen of cups, leveling up. This is your happiness. Happiness, the Disney fairy tale ending right here. Here you're getting it. Fulfillment. That's the plot twist here. Hangman Pisces, here you are. This is a change of perspective, clarity. Oh, we're definitely crystal clear over here. And releasing people, places, and things that are no longer serving you. And that's what brings us happiness in. When you don't have to deal with negative people, I needed to move my camera. My bad, people. When you let go of these negative people and you're not in a state of being around all these negative folks or somebody who's bringing you down constantly, that's going to bring this happiness. You don't even realize how depressed this person is making you because you're so worried about making them happy and having little moments of a good time that you don't know what being normal is. And the seven of swords, this ghost in this person, bringing that balance right on back. The six of cups, the proposal card. Everything that you want comes in when you leave this person behind. You don't owe this person any closure. Some of you people are waiting for that. Well, when's the right time for me to sit them down? F them. Don't sit them down. Did they sit you down and tell you about all this? Or did you find out in the streets? How did you find out about this? 
Or did you find out through secret text messages, other people, maybe this other person confronted you? Yeah, they didn't sit you down. And with this eight of coins, which is a card of self-mastery, six being a choice, eight being a balance, being restored here, this is you working on yourself, reinvesting in yourself and situation in other people that are investing in you. This is equal give and take here. This is you working on a relationship with somebody who's pouring into you like they pour, like you pour into them. That's this happiness. That's this change in perspective here. You might have been waiting for this person to show themselves as a snake, but they're normal. Yeah, this person's normal. And the seven of wands. This is somebody being defensive here, wanting to... Look at this evil queen. You got the nerve. This person has the nerve to be act trying to turn the situation around on you. This person takes no accountability, this past person. Oh, yes. They're going to be plotting behind the scenes, watching you, telling stories about how Pisces was crazy, driving me nuts, the five of cups. But they're really just jealous, regretful, and sad boots that you moved on. You weren't supposed to move on, Pisces. You weren't supposed to be happy. No, 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 no. Get out. You're like stuck and get out. You don't even realize how, that's exactly what this is. You don't even realize how miserable you are. You're just going through the motions with this person. And when you leave and you bust up and they see you doing well, they're going to be coming back. So this stress and anxiety. Oh, let me pull my camera back. This stress and anxiety you're feeling right now about this decision, this major decision with this justice card, Libra energy here. This plot twist, this justice card is the scales of justice tipping in your favor. This is somebody's karma again. So you're anxious, having this anxiety about confronting them. They're going to have this anxiety when they realize you're really gone. When they realize they can't contact you anymore. When they realize with this page of swords, they're going to be watching your social media. Lucifer is the cat. The name of this cat. Yeah. And we have the devil here. Yes. This person is definitely watching your social media for those of you that have already cut this person off and decided to already leave this behind. Yeah, when they realize that they don't have access to you, they're going to get nervous. That is going to increase the lies that they're telling about you because, oh, is Pisces telling the truth about me? You're not even thinking about them. That's the thing. With the six of coins, this is you taking a risk on this other person, this new person coming in that's normal, and it turning out in your favor here, okay? And this ten of swords in reverse, this person is, this past person, the psycho that was treating you as an option here, they're going to reach out to you, even though they know that they've stabbed you in the back, and they may even finally admit to what they did, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because this person's going to do it again. They're just telling you this to appease you so that they can do it all over again. Get back in your good graces and harm you again. See the seven of cups, which is an offer being put on the table. Many options, but there are strings attached. Oh, you can have legs, girl. You just can't talk to that fine man. Well, damn, that's not a deal at all. That's exactly what this is. You get tied up, roped all in. Right, or roped right back in. Wheel of fortune here, and that's where we're going to end it. Time is up. Karma struck this person. This is your time to release yourself from this, and your new person is coming. Pisces, let me know how this resonated for you down in the comment section. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share this video. Find me on Instagram. Check out the other content on my channel. I have hundreds of other videos, and I'll be checking with you soon, Water Sign family. Keep it real.